Whatever you wonder about ICP, let's dive deep into the ICP. First, patient is supine position. Arms tucked to the side ensure ICP monitor and preamp cable are assembled and ready for calibration. Elevate the head of the bed to 30 to 45 degrees. If needed, administer IV injections to the patient. Use the clippers to shave a frontal portion of the scalp. In this case, the right has been chosen. By using pen and ruler, mark incision two centimeters from midline behind hairline, aligned with mid pupillary line and two to three centimeters in front of coronal suture. Check that the incision is in the mid pupillary line. Use the chlorhexidine scrub to prep the site for 60 seconds. And drape the field with a sterile drape. Select the syringe with 1% lidocaine and 1 colon 100 0, 0, 0 parts of an effort. Use the syringe to infiltrate the skin at the insertion site. Use the scalpel to make a 1 cm stab incision at the insertion site. And then use the drill to drill through the skull at a perpendicular angle. Use drill threads to check skull thickness. Skull thickness, usually 5 to 10 millimeters in adults, determines both stop depth. Use forceps to probe the burr hole and remove any residual bone fragments. Ensure there is adequate opening to place the monitor. Use the 18-gauge needle to lacerate the underlying dura. Screw the bolt stop onto the bolt at a depth corresponding to the previously estimated skull thickness. Screw the bolt clockwise into the burr hole until the bolt stop is seated at the skull. Ensure that the scalp is not pinched between the bolt stop and skull. Insert the stylet into the bolt and beyond the dura to clear the passage for the fiber optic probe. Connect the fiber optic probe to the preamp connector of the monitor. Ensure sterility of the probe by having the assistant hold the end of the preamp cable. Use the screwdriver to calibrate the system to zero. Ensure the probe is not in contact with any item during calibration. Store the contaminated connection site of the fiber optic probe out of the sterile field. Ensure the probe itself does not become contaminated. Advance the probe into the bolt using the centimeter markings to gauge depth. Stop advancement of the probe once the six or seven centimeters mark reaches the top of the bolt. This should place the probe about five millimeters beyond the end of the bolt and into the parenchyma. Slightly pull back on the probe. This helps with accuracy of the pressure measurement. Turn the compression cap found on the bolt clockwise to secure the probe into place. Slide the strain relief sheath, which can be found on the tail end of the probe, down and secure this onto the compression cap. Use 4x4 gauze and tape to dress the bolt. Reconnect the probe to the preamp connector of the monitor and verify pressure waveform.